Okay, so I'm gonna start off with a question, just kind of like how everyone else has been doing. But how many of you have been to Mexico? That's pretty cool. I didn't think a lot of you guys were gonna be saying yes. I've been visiting Mexico since I was five, and we go every other year. So let's, for example, I went this past year, December, and we always go during December because we spend Christmas and New Year's there. We go for about two weeks or two weeks and a half. For these past four years, it's just been it's just been me and my dad. <clears throat> but since the first time we went, we visited the Teotihuacan pyramids, which while well, we visit Mexico City, what's well, a pueblo that's like kind of on the outer side of Mexico City, but we're like 40, 40 minutes away from the actual city, like this picture downtown LA, like we're like that, and um. Where we visit, there's a, we're also really near the pyramids. So since we were little, we were always, like my parents took us the first time. And the first time I was like beyond nervous and scared because I just looked up to what I called mountains, but they were pyramids. They're both really steep and you just can't picture yourself going up. But as my parents are like stubborn and they want to go see something new or show us something new, we went up. Um, Visiting the Teotihuacan Pyramid so often, I've grown to have so much respect and honor towards those who have like artistic and artistic interests and ideas. Like for example, I'm gonna be showing you guys today um, the well, I'm gonna be presenting Aztec symbols and so forth. And this is something we brought back from the pyramids, and we brought back so many souvenirs, but this is just one of them out of many. And what I'm gonna be focusing on today is the Aztec calendar. And how I say it, it's like really like detailed and so like, I don't know, I find it so beautiful. The Aztec calendar was used and made to be a 365 day calendar and a 260 day ritual. Both of these cycles together formed a 52 year century. Both my parents were brought into this like Aztec and everything since they were little, so they felt like that was something that they should show towards their kids and they have. And honestly, it's something that interested me since the first time we went, just seeing all these beautiful, like, you see like rocks, like a wall out of rocks and everything, and how they just built so many like stairs and everything with such little material. And knowing that, knowing how much material and, and tools and technology we have today and that they didn't have back then, but they still created such beautiful artwork. Visiting every other year the, to Mexico, we go to the pyramids, like I said. And we've collected various of things like, oh my dad, bottle openers, um, like little stones and I don't know, I find like, I don't know, they're just so like nice and everything, like detailed and everything. Let me go ahead and pass this around. But yeah, these are just some things. And then this one, I don't know, my brother chose that Every year we go, when we go, we, we choose something that's kind of more on the pricey side, and we explain why we, why we have to tell our parents why we want it. And this was actually something my brother chose, and it's like showing the different symbols that represent the month, like your month and everything. So right here I have the calendar from January to December, and I thought this would be interesting for you guys to just look at, and you guys can see which one, which symbol is for your month. Um, Uh, we've grown we've grown to have like so much so much souvenirs and everything like asset calendars um like to put up, put up on our walls t-shirts sweaters bottle openers um like a tequila holder and all these like bunch of stuff and even like a, a tablecloth like of an asset calendar my mom has it in her dining room table and everything and it's just it's just something that I cherish and find really interesting and represents like kind of my family and with these pictures that I'll be showing, um, it's gonna show you guys just so you can have an idea of what I'm talking about and see the pyramids and see like something that I would see every other year. That pyramid is the Pyramid of the Sun. And in the Pyramid of the Sun, it's basically where you see the sun set like and rise like when you're up there. And like I said, though they're really steep, and that's how we had to come down. Like I was too scared to come down walking, literally standing up, because of how steep they were. Um, they have like little walls like that, just like around the whole like land and everything, and it's just I just find it really interesting. And that's the one.
one of the moon where you see the moon like in the night you see the moon shine over it 